Okay, Enzo, could you please show me your answer? Show it to me. Okay. All right, very good. Next. What about the others? Can I see April Joy or April Jane? Oling. April Jane. Can I see yours? Okay. All right. So for those students who answered a circle and half of that is shaded, then you are right. Okay. You are right. Very good. Next. Okay. Can you see the letter D here? D. All right. Now I want you to complete the set of um, drawing in five, four, three, two and one show me your answer okay trisha is correct vaughn is correct ready and grace could you please open your camera who else would you would like to show his or her answer sherwin a uh, ricky may is correct oh oh ricky may can you please show me your answer again all right okay next okay very good sherwin all right so if you answered a reversed letter c then you are correct all right so let's have the next um picture here all right now i want you to complete the set of drawing here in five four three two and one show me your answer wow <laughs> okay trisha is correct grace joy is correct vaughn can i see yours wait okay vaughn is correct ronell is correct what about sherwin oh dennis benavides is correct enzo what about enzo sherwin can i see yours okay very good what about the others? Ricky May. Ricky May, could you please? Okay, very good. Vaughn Roby, okay. Vaughn Roby is correct. Zald, what about you? Zald? Zaldria, can I see your answer? Enzo, show me your answers, en Enzo. Okay, very good. So if you answered a circle with one fourth, okay? one fourth shaded and the other one fourth is, is shaded then you are correct all right so let's have number or this one so i want you to complete this in five four three two and one wow <laughs> okay which side do you think is missing here is it the left side or the right side which side is missing <laughs> so take a look at the space that was gone here take a look at the space that was gone here all right in five four three <laughs> two and one show me your answer <laughs> Okay, now if you answered, can you show me your answer? <laughs> All right. Okay, very good. Now if you answered, um, if you answered letter C, half letter C, then you are correct. All right, not letter D. All right, it's letter C. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, let, let's have the last one. I want you to complete the set of drawing in five, four, three, two, and one. Show me your answer. Okay, Trisha is correct. Ronell is correct. Dennis is correct. Ricky is correct. Vaughn is correct. Sherwin? Okay, Sherwin is correct. What about the others? Zaldria. Amber, oh, Grace is correct. Jeron is correct. 
Okay, who else? Emil. Enzo is correct. Very good. Okay, now I think you already know what will. Um, I think you already know how to relate or make relationships within these words. But anyway, um, we'll be having another set of activity here. So get a notebook and a ball pen again. I want you to write the two words, okay? Pair the words you will see inside the box below and write them in the spaces provided. Well, in your case, you're just going to write two words that are related to each other. Okay, I'll, I'll give you one minute to do that. One minute. Okay, so let's start. Okay, who would like to answer or who would like to give her his or her answer? Okay, who would like? Just open your camera if you want to, if you want to answer. Just give me one pair. One pair only, oh, not all. Okay, Trisha. Trisha. All right, give us your answer. What is your answer? Bark, chaka po, dog. Okay, what's the relationship of these two? Ano po, parang yun po yung nagproduce ng sound sa animal. Okay, you mean to say that dog produces dog. a sound, produces sound, which we call bark. We call right. bark. That's the, um, that's the sound or that's the action that a dog um, does when he or when that dog um, when that dog sees stranger, right? So kapag meron siyang nakitang stranger, that dog will bark, okay? That's the sound. Alright, next. Who would like to answer? Second pair. Wala na? <laughs> Who would like to answer? Come on. All right, I'm going to call someone here. Ready and Grace. Tolentino, give me another answer here. Ready. 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 Again? Bird tweet. Bird tweet. All right, so bird tweets that's the sound that a bird produce or produces now very good okay last one last pair Cat last po. again Cat po meow. okay cat and meow all right very good very good now do you have an idea what these pairs are what can you observe from the first and second activity above what can you observe? Every anyone? What have you observed based on the activity that we had from activity one and activity number two? Anyone? Mga pair po. Okay, so these words are. Can, could you please repeat it? Who who spoke? Okay, Von Robbie, did you speak? Apo. All right, so could you please say these words are these word, pairs? These words are pairs. Okay, these words are pairs. And also, these words are related with each other, right? Am I right? Okay, so these words are pairs, and also these words are related with each other. Now, do you know what this um what we call this? Do you know what we call this? Anyone? What do we call that? These pair with or these pair that shows um relationship with one another. So, what do we call that? 
Anyone? Starts with letter A and ends with letter Y. Again, the clue is that it starts with letter A and ends with letter Y. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone? All right, so the second letter is N. A, N, N. The last two letters are G and Y. Aren't you familiar with this word? Anyone? Ricky May, do you have an idea? Ricky? Mama Ricky? No, pa. Oh, okay. So what do we call these pairs of words? What do we call these pairs of words? Mm -hmm. We call that a what? We call Analog that Okay, we call that analogy. All right. So, what is an analogy? Ano nga ba yung analogy? So, could you please read it? Let's hear from Grace Joy. Grace, could you please what analogy is? An analogy is a comparison between two entirely different things and the point of comparison in use to determine is used is used to determine the determine determine the relationship between them. All right, the relationship between them. All right. Now, it says here that it is a comparison. You compare two different things, and the point of comparison is to de determine the relationship between them. Aalamin mo, ano ba ang relasyon ng dalawang set of words na yon? Is there any relationship with, between them? So that is what you are going to find out in dealing with analogy. Now, what makes analogy so effective is their ability to get students to think critically. So when you are doing analogy, you are thinking critically. All right? You are doing reasoning. Okay? Bakit nga ba ito yung sagot? Bakit nga ba hindi ito? So, you will develop your thinking skill. All right? Hindi yung, oo, oh, oh, hindi, pwede lang ang sagot. All right? Now, when you practice analogy, you will think critically in a point wherein you will practice how to reason out. Okay? You will practice how to reason out answers. Why is this the answer and not this one? All right. So it is very important to master analogy because in English, all right, in English language, you need to develop or you need to develop vocabulary too. If you do not know vocabulary words, then it, is, it will be very hard for you to think critically. All right. So kailangan malawak ang inyong vocabulary bank. So, I suggest that every day at least 10 English words. You learn 10 English words. All right? And also, they must, all right? You must think about how the words are related. Ano nga ba ang relasyon ng dalawang set na to? So, since words represent particulars, not universals. And also, it is your job to narrow this number and focus on the most essential relation. The most basic aspect of the word's function or definition. Diba ang dami nito? Pero, let's have an example here. All right. I want you to tell me the relationship of sky is to blue as grass is to... Anyone who would like to answer? Jeron. Green. Okay, green. Very good. Now here, in this analogy, the clue is to discover why. Very good. The clue is to discover why and how the 
first pair go together. Yung sky, blue. That's the relationship. All right? That's the relationship. So the second, second is that grass is to, of course, you will know that we are looking for a color. What's the color of the grass? Grass is to green. So that's the relationship. All right? Let's have another. Okay? Let's have another here. Okay, curd, milk, shoe is to? What's the answer? What do you think is the answer? Leather. Again? Leather. Okay, very good. Who answered that? Trisha, all right. Oh, ako, ako. Trisha. All right. Now, um, curd is to milk and shoe is to leather. So the answer is letter A. Very good. It's a leather. A skirt is made from milk. And similarly, shoe is made from leather. So that's the relationship of these two sets. All right? Now let's have the other. Let's have the other. Malaria is mosquito. What do you think is the answer here? Malaria, mosquito. Anyone? Poison and death. Again? Poison and death. Poison and death. All right. Are you letter C. Who answered letter C? Rat and play. <laughs> Trisha, are you sure? Medicine and disease. I don't know. Trisha, are you sure with your answer? Yes. Po. Okay, all right. Now, it says here, all right, so the answer is letter C. Okay, why? Let's look at the relationship. Malaria is caused due to mosquito. Similarly, cholera, or let's say, oh, Sorry, the answer is letter B. I'm sorry, sorry. Similarly, cholera is caused due to water. Not C, okay? The answer is letter B. All right? Okay? So the answer is letter B, cholera and water. So we are looking for the cause and effect relationship here. Malaria, the cause of malaria is mosquito. Similarly, the cause of cholera is dirty water. Okay. Now, if we say rat is to, let's say, leptospirosis, that could be. But it says here just a plague. So it is not. All right. Did you get it? Now, let's have number 12. ABC is to ZYX and CBA is to what? What's the answer? X, Y, Z, po. X, Y, Z. Again? X, Y, Z, po. All right. Who answered X, y, Z, that? Sherwin and two. Vaughn. Okay. Vaughn and Sherwin. All right. Very good. So, A, B, C, Z, Y, X is to C, B, A and X, Y, Z. Why? C, B, A is the reverse Kabaligtaran ng ABC, similarly, XYZ is the reverse of ZYX. All right? Now, let's have... All right. Now, by the way, before we move on to another slide, do you have any questions? We are going to discuss the different types of um, analogy. All right? So, do you have any more questions? Please type number three. If none, type number three, if none. Okay, very good. All right, I hope it is clear. I hope it is clear. All right, now let's move on to the types of analogy. So could you please read the types? What are the types of analogy? Ronel, could you please read? The types of analogy. Synonym. Synonyms. One more time, say synonyms. Synonyms. Mm -hmm. What else? Come on, read it all. 
Ronel? Anton. Antonyms. All right. Cause and effect, function, correct. Characteristic. Characteristic, quality, part to hold. Okay, very good. So these are the six types of analogy wherein once you answer some analogy, you will you will um, look for relationship. Is is it a synonym? Is it an antonym? Is it a cause and effect? a function, a characteristic quality, or part to whole. So we are going to focus on three, three types of analogy here. Now, first, we have the synonyms. So I hope that you are all familiar with the word synonyms. Okay, now when we say synonyms, these are words that have the same meaning. Ang ibig sabihin po, ang synonyms, ang ibig sabihin ay Dalawang salita na magkapareho ng meaning. Magkapareho. Okay? For example, awful, terrible. They are the same. Okay? The meaning is just the same. Beautiful is too pretty. Alright? Beautiful is too pretty. Alright? Now, these two sets of words have the same meaning. Awful, terrible. Beautiful, pretty. All right? But awful and beautiful cannot. All right? Terrible and pretty cannot. All right? You just, um, it just shows the relationship of these two words, which are awful and terrible, that they are synonymous. Magkapareho ng uh, meaning. So, ang beautiful and pretty, they are also synonymous. Okay? Now, could you please give me an example? Just two words that are synonymous. Synonym. And po, saka finish. And and finish. Very good. And and finish, they are synonymous. Magkapareho ng um, meaning. Okay, what else? Who answered that? By the way, sorry, hindi ko na record. Who Ako answered po, that? Okay, Von Robbie, good job. Next, who else? Okay, who else? Synonyms. Anyone? Anyone? What about, mm, let's say, what about mm, far and near? Are they synonymous? Yes or no? No. no. Okay. No. Okay, no. All right. What else? The same. Alike and same po. Again? Alike and same po. Alike and same. Okay, very good. Last one. Give me another. Last one. Fast and quick po. Fast and quick. Very good. So, again, synonyms are words that have the same meaning. Now, let's have another here. Antonyms. On the other hand, when we say antonyms, these are words that have opposite meaning. So, this time, magkaiba, magkasalungat ng meaning. Okay? For example, big is too small as long is too short. So, the opposite of big is small, the opposite of long is short. We call that antonyms. Baka magkabaligtad kayo, synonyms magkapareho, antonyms magkaiba. Magkasalungat ng meaning. All right. Now let's have an example here. Who would like to give an example? Ako po, ma. Okay, Sherwin. Far and near. Far and near. Okay, very good. Next, Ricky. Beautiful, ugly po. Okay, Radine, Grace, beautiful and ugly. What else? Vaughn, would you like to say something? L ano po? Love, jaka cry. Laugh and cry. Ricky, would you like to say something? Win and lose, ma'am. Win and lose. All right. Who else turned on their camera? Hindi ko na nakita kung siyo nag-turn on the camera. I mean, ng sad and happy, Amiel. Very good. What else? Last one. Wide and narrow po. Again? Wide and narrow po. Wide and narrow, Trisha. Jeron, would you like to say something? Jeron? Slow and fast. Slow and fast is already given. All right. Now, on the other hand, okay, I mean, the last, um, 
The last type is cause and effect. So one word is the source of some action. The other word is the result of consequence. So cause what? All right. So what happens? Now, um, sorry. So when we say cause, it is the source of some action. Then the effect is the word that results to some action or the consequence. Cause and effect. For example, earthquake is to tsunami. The cause is an earthquake, so the effect is tsunami. Earthquake is to tsunami as cavity. If there's a cavity, there's a toothache. The effect is a toothache. All right? Cause and effect. All right? Now, can you give me an example of cause and effect relationship? Mm. Yes, Ricky. Typhoon for cause, tapos for flood effect. Okay, very good. Typhoon, flood. All right, what else? What else? What else? Mom. Yes, Vaughn. The teacher talk for. Again? Uh, the teacher talk. Uh, teacher talks. Tapos. The student listen po. Okay, the teacher talks. The students listen. All right? Okay, very good. Who would like to give his or her answer? Last one. Grace. Grace. Causes rain and the effect is flood. Okay, rain, flood, or it was given a while ago, which is the th typhoon and the flood. All right, so I hope everything is clear here. Now let's practice. By the way, do you have any more questions? Is it clear? Type 4 if it's clear. Type 4 if it's clear. Okay. All right, two, four, five, six. Six pa lang, seven. Siguro yung natitira, hindi clear. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, now let's practice. Allow is to forbid. As build is to? What's the answer? Contract. Again? Construct. Construct po. Allow Destroy. <laughs> Galit na galit. Gustong manakit. Sino, nang, sino nagsabi na destroy? <laughs> Oo po. Alright. Yan. Tinigawan kayo ni Sherwin. Destroy daw. <laughs> galit na galit, Sherwin. Alright. Sherwin is correct. Allow is to forbid as build is to destroy. Now, could you please explain to us why, Sherwin? Forbid is... Mom, what is forbid? <laughs> Forbid is... Yung hindi ka po, ano, pinapayagan right? po. Okay, ka po pinag, pinapayagan. Pinagbabawal or this, um, it is not allowed, right? Opo. Right? So that means, build is to destroy. So what is the relationship? Is it syn synonym, antonym, or cause and effect? Antonym. Okay, very good. All right, good job. Antonym. So, kabaligtaran. All right? Ayan tayo sa deconstruct eh. Alright, rough is to bumpy as swift is to... Rough is to bumpy as swift Slow. Fast, is to... Who said fast? Ako po. Okay, and so is correct. So swift is to fast all right so what's the relationship is it an antonym synonym or cause and effect enzo antonym po ma'am swift is to is it an antonym swift synonym synonym so when we say swift that means you go fast all right so that is synonym all right who said synonym Okay, Ricky May is correct. All right, and so is correct, fast, but that the relationship is synonym. All right, next. Hungry is to eat, as thirsty is to drink. Drink. Okay, very good. So what is the relationship? 
Anthony, synonym? Synonym po, synonym. <laughs> Again? Synonym. Synonym? Ricky? Ay, cause and effect, effect po. <laughs> Okay, cause and effect. Okay, so if you are hungry, you're going to eat. If you are thirsty, you're going to drink. So it shows a cause and effect relationship. All right. So let's have or let's review. All right. So let's review. Careless is to accident as careful is to safety. Okay. All right, Ricky, Trisha, Prince, all right, safety, very good. At least you know how to relate or you know how to analyze these words already. Okay, now let's have an example. I mean, let's have an activity here before you answer your modules, all right? So choose the word that best expresses a relationship similar to that of the original pair. So I want you to open your mic if you want to answer. Let's have number one. Up is to down. By the way, once you answered it, you show you will tell me you will tell me or you will tell us what kind of relationship is that. Okay? Parang relasyon ba yan ng ex nyo, ng jowa nyo, ng mama at papa nyo? Anong relasyon? All right? Number one, up left to down, right. left, left right is to... Right. right. Okay. Right. So who would like to who would like to tell me what kind of relationship is Antonyms this? Antonyms po. Antonyms. All right. Very good. Number two. Winter cold. Winter. Number two. Number two. Sherwin, number two. Finger. Touch po. <laughs> Touch po. Touch. Okay, fingers is two. Touch. All right, very good. Okay, let's have number three. Show me, you answered cold. it. Okay, winter is the cold. Okay, what about four? Banana, yellow, carrot, is orange. Orange. Okay. Red. Okay. 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 pink. Red. Okay. 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 Okay, what is the color of carrot? Maloka ako sa carrot na red, ha? Baka sobrang, sobrang hinog yan. <laughs> Baka sobrang hinog yan carrot mo, ha? Sino nag-answer ng red? Ako okay. po. <laughs> okay. Now, but, but in general, carrot is orange. All right? Next. Let's have number five. Pork is to meat. French is to? Wala magsasabi ng fries. Language po. Ano, ano? Ay. Ulit, ulit. Can I hear? Language Can I hear the... Lang... Language po. Language? Okay, could you please say the word again? Language. Language po. Not... Ah, it's... Eh, language. Alright? Hindi, language. Language. <laughs> language. Alright. Ayan, di ba? Para ka nang tunog, ano, maarte. Alright. Let's have number six. Nurse, hospital, waiter is to? Restaurant. 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 Ayan, restaurant. Tayo, restaurant. ayan tayo sa restaurant. Eh. <laughs> okay, everybody just say restaurant. Not restaurant. Okay, restaurant. Restaurant. Okay, okay. very good. Restaurant. restaurant. Next. Oh, diba? Masosyal. Let's have number seven. Pencil, right? Knife is to? Cut. cut. Again? Cut. cut. Okay, cut. cut. Later, we're going to um, we're going to analyze what kind of relationship is this. Okay, let's have number eight. Good is wonderful. Tasty is to? Delicious. 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 Uh, Delicious. 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 Tatampaling kita. <laughs> Delicious. All right. Next. Number nine. Hungry is to eat. Tired is to rest. Yes. Okay. Very good. Bed is to bedroom and toilet is to? Bathroom. 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 Wow. Very good. Gagaling naman itong mga to. <laughs> okay. Ang gagaling, ha? All right. Who can give me his or her own analogy? All right. I'll give you like two minutes to um to make your own analogy one synonym one antonym and one cause and effect all right i'll give you five minutes again five minutes and after that you will um you will 
tell us your your um you, you, what do you call this your analogy all right again one synonym one antonym analogy one cause and effect analogy all right so five minutes starts now I guess three minutes is okay. I mean, is enough. So we'll have three minutes for this. Ma'am, word lang po ba? Kung gusto mo na isentence, pwede rin. Kung gusto mo lang, no? Pwede yun. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. Okay, so let's hear from everybody. All of you will present their um, works. All right, so let's start with the first person on my list. Let's start with Amber. Thea. Amber. 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 Amber, are you still here? 
Um, okay, Amber, so could you please present your work to us? Synonym, funny and hilarious. hilarious. Okay. Antonyms, entrance aim, and exit. Okay. Cause and effects, smoking cigarettes, cause lung cancer. Okay, very good. All right, so let's have Emil, Dave. Emil? Antonyms po, far near. Mm -hmm. Synonym? Synonyms po, black and white. Okay, cause and effect. Cause and effect. Do you have cause and effect? E email. Pneumonia po. Mm -hmm. Pneumonia is to what? What causes pneumonia? Cough po. Uh, okay. Too much cough. Or let's say that's the... Um, symptom, not the effect actually, alright? That's just the symptom of pneumonia. Alright, but anyway, so let's have, okay, good job, Emil. Let's have April Jane. What about April? 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 April, wow, na nawala sila, oh. Mamark ko tong mga hindi nagsasalita, ha? Dennis, Benavides. Dennis? Ma'am? Synonyms po, huge, huge and big. Plus antonyms po, pretty and ugly. Okay, Dennis, is that your real name, Dennis? Hindi po. Ah, okay. What's your real name? Okay, okay. I want you to change your name here, ha? Kasi Dennis na nakalagay, eh. Jintara. Jintara. Okay. This gonna be me. Next. Enzo. What about Enzo? Enzo. Angry and mad. Okay, angry. Alright. Ano name po? Dirty and clean. Dirty and clean. All right. Next. Cause and effect. Tornado cause. Destruction okay. effect. Okay. Good. All right. So let's have. Oh, magpipili na lang ako, ah. And then after this, you are going to send me or send through group chat your your work. Okay. Um, yes, Vaughn. Synonyms, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Enormous po, tsaka huge. Okay. Tapos po, uh, antonyms, accept and decline. Alright. Cause and effect po. Cause po, I worked really hard in school. Effect, effect, I graduated. Okay, I, um, I graduated. Very good. Ricky, would you like to say something? Synonym po, victory and win. Okay. Antonym po, naughty and behave. Okay. Cause and effect, not listening to teacher, yung effect, ay yung cause po, tas didn't pass, didn't pass to exam, yung oh, effect. Oh, kala ko palo, palo, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Next, Trisha? Ma'am? Yes, Trisha, would you like to say something? Synonym po, um, battle po, tsaka war. Right. Antonym. Wide po, tsaka narrow. Mm -hmm. And cause and effect po, not brushing teeth, cavity po. Cavity or bad breath, right? Okay. All right. Who would like to answer? I mean, who would like to share his or her work? Wala na? Ma'am. Opo. Opo, ma'am. Oh. Redin, Sherwin? Synonyms po, admit, confess. Antonyms okay. po, admin. 
cause and effect po. Ami Blue and Enormous Bubble with her gum. Ah, may, may parang shuffling, shuffling, ko, 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 pa yan, ha? Ano ulit yung cause and effect mo? Ami Blue and Enormous Bubble with her gum. Oh, okay. Over Ami's face. Parang di ko ma-imagine yun, ha? <laughs> okay. Mga shining, shimmering, camber touch pa yan, ha? Alright, very good. Ready in? Who, who else? Oh, shining, wow. shimmering, shimmering. Okay, sure win. Sintonim po. Ano si? Awful. <laughs> Sorry. Ano sintonim? Hindi <laughs> sintonim po pala, ma'am. Okay. Alright. Pinagalan. Sorry po na ano po. And I just, sorry, sorry. Natawa lang ako doon. That's funny. Alright. See your name? Awful and disgusting. Okay, good. Next? Antonyms. Beautiful, ugly. Okay. Cause, cavity, and defect, to take. Okay, to take. Alright. Do you have any more questions? Oh, Grace? <laughs> Grace? Kapag ka mo meron tayong gantong recitation, may isa talagang batang nagle-left. <laughs> siya at siya yun. <laughs> may ganon. Zald. Nasa si Zald? Nasa si yung isa? May isa pang nag-left eh. Ayan. Alright. So, Zald, would you like to say something? Zald? Zald? Okay. Wala na. Alright. Now, anyway, let me just present to you the wait for a sec canned setting zald mom nag lolo ko po yung mic wow all right <laughs> okay but i want you to send all of you okay all of you i want you to send your your answers through group chat natin ha through gc dun ko titingnan yung um in yung work kasi hindi ko um, I mean, not all of you answered here because we do not have enough time. Let me just share. Uh, wait, where is it? I'm going to share a Chrome. Okay, here. So, as you can see here, all right. So, as you can see, we already have two activities. Um, colloquial words and idiomatic expressions. We are in only seven have been graded or had been graded three turned in and bigagradean ko pa lang but 11 students didn't turn in their classworks and also in terms of the idiomatic expression para lang alam niyo kung ano yung mga sinasend niyo sa akin no all right so, in terms of idiomatic expression this time, all right, take a look at this. These are the only students who accomplished the email ad while answering the activity. I told you that you have to, um, you have to indicate your email address so I will know who responded. Okay, so only two, four, six, eight, nine, ten students responded here. Okay, so I am still waiting for another 10 students. Although most of you are, yung iba dito na wala sa list, I know that you already have passed. But then, please um, follow instructions. If, if I want you to indicate email address, please indicate your email address. Okay, so nandito na yung mga scores nyo rin. So far, walang naka-15. Meron naka-15 si Ricky naman. Si Ricky. Alright. <clears throat> anyway, so you already have or I already have posted the English module which you will answer. Okay, so for the remaining time so you will only answer day four again you will only answer day number four hahanapin nyo siya dito okay tingnan ko nga siya ang day four natin uh, ang day four po kasi ay page tingnan ko lang ha ang day four po natin ay page eto page Walang page, ha? Pero ito yung day 4 natin. Nakikita? 
hindi ko kasi kayo nakikita. Nakikita. Kahit isa lang magsabi kung nakikita. Yung day four. Okay. Analogy. Okay, so you are only going to answer day four of analogy up to the end. Alright, hanggang sa... Ma'am, di ko po kita. Dulo. Ako din po, ma'am. Na, hindi ma'am, na... mm-hmm. sorry po, ma'am. Nalubat po. Okay. Let me present it again. Okay, nakikita nyo? Oh, wait for a second. Yung classwork, sandali. Teka lang, ha? Okay, this one. All right, this one. Ang sasagutan nyo lang ay ang day four. All right, day four analogy. Up to the end. Lahat ng, na, na, lahat ng activities, all activities that you will see on that, um, on those pages, sasagutan. Okay, wala na magtatanong, ma'am, anong sasagutan? Ma'am, alin dito? Ma'am, sasagutan ba to? Ma'am, wala na po. Again, you will answer day four activities, day four only. All right. Anyway, so do you have any more questions? Lana po, ma'am. Lana, all right. So, okay. Lana po. So you are going to accomplish that just for today. Next week, we will be having another activity. All right. So you will be having another module for this. Anyway, so if you do not have any more questions, I hope you enjoy your lunch later and goodbye. Enjoy the rest of the day. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Bye, ma'am. 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 Bye, 